Hello Twin Flames and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for Wednesday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And we've got a really powerful new moon today so I feel lots of change coming in, doors opening. And you will have felt this since the Lionsgate portal, results showing up in your life, the masculines wanting to communicate, the masculines have been communicating, some of you have even come into union. We've been seeing those types of comments coming into the comments section. People coming back together after long periods of time. So things are really starting to show up now in a physical way. And this new moon is bringing in power. Feminines, you know, you're going to be feeling this too. I really feel that you've stepped into your power since Monday. Lots of shifts and changes coming in, being aware of things, manifesting things, powerful energy flowing in. So we're going to bring in some moon cards to connect with this new moon and the energy of this day. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available right now. You can email me at guidedbyangelsxo at gmail.com. So we're going to bring in the Moonology Oracle cards today. So let's get some energies today around the Divine Feminine. So what's the energy around the Feminine? Jumping straight out the deck. Amazing. And Feminine, you know, if you want to know what you're healing and what this new moon is doing for you as well, you know, I have done a very powerful members reading today based around the feminine and what the masculines regret. So you can connect with that too if you are a member or if you want to join today. Let's connect with the energy around the divine masculines with this deck. So thank you, angels. What's the energy around the divine masculines today? And what are they experiencing and going through? Thank you. Jump straight out. And then an energy around the journey itself, the connection between you and what this day is bringing in with the new moon. Thank you, angels. I want a clear card. I'm going to shuffle until I get a clear card. There we go. Jump straight on the camera there. Now, we're also going to connect with the Moonology Manifestation cards because new moons are a great time for new beginnings. A great time to begin again, to bring new things in and to focus on change. So what do we need to know for the Divine Feminine today? Jump straight out, amazing. What do we need to know for the Divine Masculines today? Amazing how they're jumping out, it just flying out of the deck. And we're going to connect with the energy around the journey as well for the Divine Masculines. What do we need to know? That one there, that's the journey as well. And I'm also going to bring in these gorgeous moon cards... These are beautiful. I got these free in a magazine ages ago. So what's the energy around the Divine Feminines today? What's the energy around the Divine Feminines? These cards can also connect with any fears or struggles we go through because obviously the new moon also brings those things up. You know, the Daily Angel reading today, we got the card Forgive coming through. So a great day to forgive and release. That's the energy around the Masculines and the energy around the connection itself today. I've got two cards coming out. And I'm also going to use a message for you cards. So what's the message for you, Divine Feminine, today? There we go. Masculines, what's the message for you today? A message for the Divine Masculines, please, angels. A message from the mas for the Masculines. Or they give me the word from as well. So this could also be from the Masculines higher self. And I'm going to bring in a message for the journey. Jumped on, wow, on there, amazing. Okay, flip, reverse it there. you got to see a little bit of me there. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling. Message for the journey is things flipping around, things turning around. You know, everything happens for a reason during a reading. So let's start with the feminine energies today then. So the message for you is abundance, wow. Look at this, new job, winnings, money coming in, new beginnings. Couldn't get a better card coming in for the feminine. That's absolutely what I'm feeling today. So some of you could be starting a new job. You know, you may have won on a scratch card or maybe you've won a little amount of money on the lottery. But you may feel like you've won something wonderful because you're living your life. You know, we feel like a winner every day when we are connecting with source, when we're feeling blessed, when we're excited. You may feel like a winner because things are going well at work. Or you have got a new job or there's more money flowing in. Or because maybe you're in communication with your twin. So this is a new beginning ahead. And if you've been asking for money, manifesting money, talking to the angels about your financial situation, wanting more, this is a huge sign of change. Isn't that powerful? And we've got the moon in Libra coming through. So Libra is about balance. So I feel feminines, you're feeling more balanced. It says avoid making serious decisions and instead focus on creating harmony within your relationships. So instead of thinking, oh, I've got to move on from my twin or I'm going to 
you know, choose this or that. Just work on feeling good. Just work on creating harmony, which means you feel more playful, more relaxed, more at ease, more flexible and adaptable. So you're not trying to rush or force anything or pressure anything or anyone. You're just being you. You're just shining that light bright and that's going to bring balance in. And you can also call on Archangel Honiel and Archangel Raguel to bring in balance. So Honiel brings in peace and Raguel creates a harmonious situation. Maybe creates the way for you guys to come back together or helps you to feel more at ease with where you currently are. So I feel there's more balance coming into your life, which is coming into your connection. We've got you and your loved ones are safe. Now, this is a really beautiful message here because this is saying to you, whenever you feel emotional or, you know, maybe your emotions are running high, you are safe. Your loved ones are safe. So there's no need to fear. And I also got this card coming through in the members reading today, which is a message from your loved ones in heaven saying we are okay. You know, if anyone's lost a loved one, especially if you've lost anyone to cancer and you've been thinking about that person, that person is coming in around you saying, I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. I'm watching over you. You are safe. Your loved ones are safe. There's no need to fear. And also take a breather. So remember the angels are saying to you today, you don't need to make decisions today. You don't need to rush or force anything today. Just be in the energy of surrender and be open to change and the magic the universe is bringing in. So surrender today, divine feminine, and attend to the details. So the details may be you, you know, writing things down, you're sorting things out, you're doing your vision board. You're working out the next step. So instead of making decisions today, attend to the details instead by focusing on harmony and peace, forgiving and feeling free of the past. Now, a message for the masculine today is spirit animal. Wow, who do you see? So the masculines have got spirit animals around them. And this could be the energy of the eagle bringing them home to you giving them that power to manifest their dreams and make changes. Their spirit animal could be the stag as they transform and give you the promise of union. Their spirit animal could be a dog about loyalty. So the masculines are connecting with spirit animals today. Who do you see? And look at this. Wow, I've got angel bumps. We've got the owl. So masculines, the spirit animal is with you today. The owl is with you today. Because owls bring in wisdom and knowledge and also help you to see through fear and find a way out of darkness and to see things from all angles and all perspectives. So a crisis will allow you to look into yourself and make an important revelation. So this is a great day today for the masculines to be understanding things and they're having aha moments and revelations so masculines if you've seen owls today that's why you may see 11 11 a crisis a tower moment chaos change this will allow you to go within to make changes to understand what you need to do and reflect on your priorities so the owl is bringing in this energy where you can think about what you want and reflect on your priorities your divine feminine is your priority and you know that. Feminines, you may not feel that way because you may feel they're putting a karmic partner before you or their job or their own needs. But they're reflecting on you and how to move towards you. That's what they want. And you're reflecting on what to do next. The masculines are also taking a reality check today because they're looking around their life. And they're realizing what does work and what doesn't, where they want to be and where they don't want to be. So they are really understanding now what they need to do and what they need to change to move forward towards a new adventure. And they're working through their feelings and their fears and their emotions. So the masculines are going to be feeling a lot of things today. You know, this new moon is bringing up an abundance of feelings. So for the families, we've got an abundance of money. An abundance of new opportunities, an abundance of blessings. For the masculine, they're going through an abundance of feelings. So they're feeling highs and lows, ups and downs. They're feeling pain sometimes as they work through their fears. And again, we've got the new moon and Scorpio. So they don't want to lash out anymore, push you away, deny this. You know, the scorpion has got a sting in its tail. So, you know, the masculines hurt you sometimes without thinking, without meaning to. 
And this is about forgiveness and healing. So the masculines are working through their own fears to be able to move towards you the right way. I am definitely feeling as well the energy of between now and the Scorpio season, the masculines getting into a much clearer and cleaner vibration. So they're able to make the changes they're being guided to make. So between now and October, big shifts. Now the energy around the connection, a message for you is... I've sent you a message through my thoughts. So you're definitely communicating today through telepathy, through signs and synchronicities, songs, the way you connect. So you're connecting in the 5D and your loved ones are never far away. All you must do is say or think their name. You are so loved. So there's this real message coming through from heaven today saying you are so loved. The angels are with you. Your loved ones are watching over you. You are not alone. And also that you are never far away from each other because separation is illusion. You live in them, they live in you. All you must do to connect with your twin is think or say their name and they will be there with you. We've got the hair and I love this because the hair is also connected with the water rabbit that came in at the end of January saying I'm bringing in new beginnings, fresh starts and opportunities. So the new moon is bringing in an auspicious time for new beginnings. That's why you feel this. This is why I've made changes on the channel because it's freshening everything up, bringing in fresh energy to move forward, to take leaps of faith, to do what you're guided to do. And the waning moon says, let go of all that's causing you inner turmoil. And remember, the mind can be a garden. And the mind is a garden of either real gorgeous things like roses that bloom and grow. But remember, even roses have thorns. You know, the beauty also comes with a little bit of pain sometimes. But the, the gorgeous things that grow like the flowers, the trees, the grass, everything growing wonderfully... But we have to remove the weeds, we have to remove the thorns, we have to remove the, the branches and the brambles that get in the way and cause pain. So let go of that which is causing you inner turmoil in the mind. Now is a time for casting away emotions that are no longer serving you. So a great day to release negative feelings and to forgive and feel free and begin again. And the new moon, remember, also opens doors. So between the new moon and the waning moon, it's a great time to let go of the past. And we've got the forgive card as well. I really feel this energy. This came up in the daily angel reading today. So forgive. And to forgive, we have to go within. You know, Pisces energy is about going deep within ourselves, going deep within, maybe facing some deep fears or emotions. But forgiveness is a gift we give to ourselves. So between now and the full moon, okay, and the full moon, you know, whenever that comes in at the end of August time, the full moon is a blue moon on the 31st. Make sure you're forgiving, you know, forgive, heal, feel at peace with things. So a lot of forgiveness coming in to start again and adjustments are required. And I feel the adjustment that's required is forgiveness to forgive the past to begin again. Adjustments are changes, things that need to be tweaked or sorted out to bring you together. And they just guided me to look at the clock then. And we were on 13, 13. Now, 13 is a number about luck. So I'm just going to grab my Angel Numbers book by Kyle Gray to read you what it says about 13. Okay, the Angel Numbers book by Kyle Gray. So 13 is a number of luck. So luck is on your side right now. Masculines, you're waking up to your truth. You're going through a reality check. You're realizing that what's important and what's a priority to you is your feminine and being with your feminine. Feminine's you're connecting with abundance today, opening up to change, blessings flowing in, more money, great things on the horizon. And the energy around the connection is a new start and a new beginning and change. So the number 1313 in the Cal Gray Angel Numbers book as well, which is a great number book to connect with, says to teach us to learn. There are many important lessons in your current situation. Make a note of whatever you heal, for you will teach others to do it too. So the angels are reminding you, whatever you're going through in your journey right now, it's giving you the resources, the skills, the valuable understanding to help others too. Because you are a leader, you are a pioneer of truth, a warrior, a teacher to others. So whatever you're going through right now in your day, write it down. Make a note of whatever you heal because you'll help others. So you may have an understanding today of, wow, 
Now I understand why this has happened. I'm now grasping that why we've had to be in separation or why he behaved that way. So write it down because you may use it later down the line to assist others. So the adjustments that are required are to remember that you're here to teach and to learn. You are a student and a teacher to your twin, to people in the world. You're here to grow. So you may see 1313 13 on the clock today to remind you of that, to remind you to become the observer. So you see things in a more powerful way and you trust in the love. Now, I'm also going to bring in the daily guidance from the angels book today. So the message today is look at this, enjoy true love. So enjoy this love today because it's true. Remember that your angels love you, that your twin loves you, that your loved ones in heaven are around you and allow yourself to feel love, to feel the caring that's coming in and flowing to you. Know that your heart is filled with the affection of heaven. So the love the angels have for you is true because it's steady and unconditional. And remember this journey of twin flame love is steady and unconditional. Even when you feel unsteady on your feet or you're demanding things or wanting things now, we learn to respect and understand the speed of the journey, the process of it, all that we are. So all of your behaviours and actions happen so you can value everything that you do. The angels guide you in new directions, but they always want you to do what's on your path of truth through your mind. They act in harmony with your prayers according to your divine will. So remember this, true love is unwavering through every situation. No matter what's going on, it's there. So in other words, no matter what's happening with your twin, no matter what the situation is or what the challenges are, the love is always there. You just have to close your eyes and feel it and to connect to it because your twin is saying to you today, I am sending you a message through my thoughts. So always see the goodness and the inner glow within yourself and others. When you rest in the certainty of your twin flame's affection, you relax and your light shines even brighter. So today understand and know that you are cherished now and always. And the angels will help you to feel this affection and allow you to notice it as it comes to you throughout this day. So a really powerful message that's saying to you, you are loved so much. You are protected, you are guided feel the love and you're going to receive all these messages today through your thoughts, your feelings, your awareness and your understanding of what's really going on. So a great day of change and power and the owl is around the masculines to help them to see. So if you're seeing owls, that's the reason why. If you're seeing rabbits or hares, that's why. Maybe you see a scorpion as a sign that before you lash out or react, always take a moment to breathe and observe. And then you will always respond with love in everything you do. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.